it's it's endemic. Mental health is, is endemic, really, among the the guys that we see. We're dealing with people who are homeless and in insecure accommodation, and homelessness is both a, a symptom of often mental ill health and also a contributing factor to mental ill health. Um, a few years ago, in uh, 2015, we did a pioneering homeless health needs audit um, using a tool that they use in many local councils in the UK. It's the first time any research had been done into homeless health needs on the island. We ran that in partnership with Community Health over here. And that showed very clearly 94% of the people that we that we did that audit with had diagnosed or undiagnosed mental health problems, um, which was higher both than comparable UK homeless populations and obviously much higher than the general UK population as well. And is that some, obviously that was that audit, but is that something that things still rings true now? Absolutely. I think um, it's still on a, on a daily basis. Many of the people that we'll see um, will have um, mental ill health of one form or another. And, uh, and so it remains a, a real, real struggle for people. You mentioned signposting as well to where people might be able to get help for for some of these issues they might be having. Do you feel well qualified and do you know, well equipped to to point people in the right direction? I think we're uh, we're building better relationships with um, the mental health services in particular. And over the past couple of years, we've had a a mental health liaison worker come down and do weekly clinics at the drop-in, um, which has been a, a huge step in the right direction. And it's often in the context of when they people know that that someone they can meet and they've got a familiar face suddenly the 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 sort of the fear of going into a service or the fear of getting a bit more help the fear of beginning to address some of these problems lessens a lot when it's somebody that you've sat down and had a cup of tea with um so i think things are are improving a little bit in that direction we would love to see more resources given to mental health generally and particularly the work that community mental health do and uh, and i think that the barriers to the service are often to do with the, with the resources that it's given in that, in that vein, then I suppose, how much support do you see directly from government? That varies. <laughs> I mean, homelessness, unfortunately, uh, remains um, a, an area where the government have no um, statutory responsibilities um, on the Isle of Man. So there's no no legislation concerning homelessness, no right to house, no duty of care, anything like that. Um, which uh, which which means that the main actors in this area have been very very small charities which is they do fantastic work <laughs> either i say so myself ourselves and housing matters you know we do our best but with very limited resources and um, and, and i don't think the government are, are prioritizing the, the homelessness and housing aspect of things as much as they could and in terms of mental health and health services it's down to, to resources as always i think that mental health services have been in a lot of change over the past number of years and we really hope that out of those changes there's going to be more priority given to some of the most vulnerable which have often struggled to get access into those systems